Hello, my name is Eric Fuzzi, and I am the course coordinator for the Masters of Marine Engineering at the University of Adelaide. Hi, my name is Jax Ryer, and I'm currently pursuing Masters of Marine Engineering as a dual degree with Ensor Britain. So this program is being offered because in South Australia, we've got the Naval Shipbuilding Plan, which is implemented. That program is intended to deliver nine frigates and 12 submarines in Adelaide for the next 50 years. We started in 2006 with ISC, who is basically our uh, partner for the co-delivery of that uh, program, because basically the industry was struggling to find the appropriate training offer for their uh, graduates and students. So from there, with ASC, we have developed two streams of courses to fulfill the close to 3,000 jobs that will be needed in the coming years to deliver those frigates and submarines. So when I finished my bachelor's, I wanted to work on the skills that I had developed and I wanted to develop on them in the future in terms of the defense industry, given that it had high demand in jobs and a promising career. So this course really allowed me to explore my options in the future and also develop more based on the skills that I already had. So the program is structured in two streams, one for surface ships and one for submarines. And you can pick up a number of courses. So if you are after a grad certificate, you can pick up two courses on one semester. If you are for a grad diploma, you can then add up the other courses are electives. And if you are willing to go for the master's degree, then you have the four courses. And for instance, for the dual master's degree with Ernst Botanya, you've got the four courses in the submarines as a core. And those courses can be Commonwealth supported placements as well. So the time commitment for these courses is one week per course, and it's delivered in intensive mode. That is being decided to facilitate uh, the students coming from industry or other institutions to focus during that week on their learning and their experience at the university. During that one week intensive mode, it's not boring because we meant to have a lot of interactions with the students. So they have access to the courses and the idea is to share our stories because this is where it is getting very interesting from the student perspective to have the lecturers sharing their own practical experiences and asking them questions about real life and the real engineering life experiences. Because there's oh, one week of intensive lectures um, and three weeks of pretty much unscheduled tutorials, I'm able to commit to my part-time work and my extracurricular activities and my volunteering with the Women in STEM Careers program. And this program really allows us to go back and commit to our full-time job or commit to our activities outside of university. The program highlights are basically what is in the courses, but also who is delivering the courses and also who we have as students because basically everybody is contributing by sharing stories. Often we tend to consider that only the nice stories are providing uh, some good results but what we like to share in uh, our courses is basically what went wrong, yeah. the failures because this is where we are learning a lot. Uh, sometimes it's fun and it's really interactive uh, sometimes we have to mute the microphone, but uh, this is really uh, what is making the courses interested. We are not just reading the slides, we are really sharing uh, within the whole audience. During the one week intensive course, uh, we do study a lot from real life examples. We have students from the industry, we have lecturers from the industry who talk about real life examples, what went well, what went wrong, and what could be taken from the examples. Um, all the students are contributing to our learning as well. So this makes it the highlight of the course. Because the students have different personalities and different profiles, they contribute uh, with their own sensitivities. In most courses, we've got students coming from electrical, electrical background, yeah coming from oil and gas or petroleum. We even have some architects. So everybody can bring uh, their own experience yeah. and their own sensitivities into the program. We really like it. Yeah. And we also focus a little bit on safety, like safety in any sort of engineering. Only and a little bit? A lot. <laughs> a majority of component is safety. 
I would say the career options are close to being infinite because basically our students are coming from various backgrounds. We've got mechanical students, mechanical engineering students, we've got electrical engineering students, we've got architects, and all of them have different aspirations. And what we have done by crafting those courses is trying to provide each student with a menu from which they can pick what will be of interest to them because that will then carry them towards their career aspirations. So we will have students that will be very suited to go into project management because they will have the knowledge of the product. But we will also have some hardcore engineering students that will stick to one domain and they will have the ability to dig really deep into that domain. So I guess we're here to be able to please everyone, whether these people are students, but also industry. So in the degree, we learn about um, different systems on the submarines and surface ships. We learn about platform systems, combat systems, electrical systems, and how to integrate all these different systems. And we also learn about hydro hydrodynamics, stability, and structures of ships and submarines. And um, going into the course, I was expecting to learn about ships and submarines, but after getting into the course, I realized that marine engineering is a lot broader than what I had foreseen. So this really broadened my uh, my career horizons, as to say. So this, the career opportunities with this degree are limitless. And the idea, I guess, is because we are addressing systems engineering, we don't want to confine you into one specific technical domain, but giving you the ability to interact with other people from different domains, still giving you the ability to deliver as a team. Yeah. Yes, indeed, we have a lot of internship uh, and work placements possibilities. Due to our very good connections uh, with the technical support network, science uh, organization or industry, we are being offered a lot of placements for our students. They can be short term placement or up to 24 weeks placement. These placements are likely to happen in Australia, but also worldwide. So currently we have students that are likely to go to France, but also to Canada, even UK. Well, as you've said, possibilities are limitless. I guess I would recommend this program to anybody who has got an in, in interest in uh, shipbuilding, whether they are interested in surface ships or submarines, and whatever their aspirations are into that domain. If they are interested into the technical aspects or project management aspects, but also procurement or industrial aspects, these courses will provide them with the ability to understand what is behind a submarine, what is behind a surface ship, and that will provide them with some confidence that they can interact with other professionals with whatever kind of experience they may have, and that will help them to grow for the decades to come. And this program, I believe, is suited for anyone who's got an interest in uh, marine vessels, ships and submarines. It's suited for both who have just graduated and want to explore careers in terms of shipbuilding and submarine design. And it's also suited for someone coming from the industry in order to accommodate with the flexible schedule of the intensive courses. So it's suited for both someone who's just starting out as a student as well as someone from the industry. As long as you've got a bachelor with honors and some willingness to learn and to explore what would be of interest for you in shipbuilding, you are more than welcome to, to join us. So the University of Adelaide has developed a dual degree with a French university, Insta Bretagne of France, and it started uh, last year. The idea behind that is to have a cohort of students coming from either France or Australia or even international students that are willing to benefit from the best of both worlds. So during that uh, dual master's program, the students are expected to spend six months in France, in Brittany, and then six months in Australia before taking 24 weeks of internship, whether it is in France or in Australia or somewhere else, as internship for a work placement. And it can be with industry or a science organization. The interest is basically to expose the student to a different uh, world. We have started this program last year because with the French 
naval group company winning the submarine contract for Australia, we thought that there was a good opportunity there for our students to get a better understanding about the French culture, the French way to address technological challenges. Mm -hmm. And in the same way, we thought it was a very good opportunity for the French students to discover what we can offer here in Australia in terms of culture and different learning. The French are very academic and we are more pragmatical or practical. So I think that's a right balance and um, everybody is happy to have that experience and, and to share uh, depending on their sensitivities. I'm currently studying the dual masters, but I completed one semester at Ensta Breton in the second half of 2018. And uh, there were some key differences between Australian universities and the way course was structured in, in Ensta. So the key difference was um, 40 hours of contact hours, including tutorials, lectures, software training every single week. Uh, but there was less number of take home assignments, which allowed me to do my extracurricular activities as well in France. And uh, the second difference was I got an opportunity to study French in France. <laughs> And uh, when I went there, when I landed there, I had troubles like looking for my ID cards. But when I finished studying there, I was able to hold a conversation with the lost and found team because I lost a scarf. So I did get to learn a basic conversational French. Um, whilst we were at Ensta, we had regular contact with Eric, our, co our course coordinator and uh, we gave him updates via video calls or via emails. Eric was always helpful in trying to sort out any challenges that we faced. He helped us thoroughly throughout overcoming our challenges and throughout our semester at Ensta. And in terms of culture, there was a big uh, shock. It's uh, when you greet your mates, you, you greet them with uh, la bise, which is the cheek to cheek kiss. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the, we also got to experience the French crepe and galette, which originated in Brittany region. And we also got to enjoy the, the beautiful music and dance that Brittany had to offer to us. Uh, I definitely recommend this program to everyone. Unfortunately, in Adelaide, we have a Brittany uh, chef here that uh, can uh, cook some crepe and galette. So we'll have a nice meal with the students at the end of the semester. Rest assured, all the courses are delivered into English. And once in Ensta Bretagne, the students have basically two weeks where they are offered some intensive French uh, cultural induction, not only crepe, but also French uh, language to get their feet uh, into the ground about what it means to be uh, studying in, uh, in Brittany. So if we have caught your attention and now you are interested in knowing more about shipbuilding, whether it is for surface ships or submarines, and you want to take the next step, then have a look on our website and look at the different possibilities to go for a grad cert, a grad dip, or the Masters of Marine Engineering, or even the dual degree with Ensta Bretagne of France. And if you are definitely interested, please apply via CETAC. Or if you need more information, just have a look on our website or contact us or the faculty or contact myself. And we'll be very happy to have you finding your own feet on surface ships or submarines. I was just going to say the most important thing is to have fun. Oh, yes, we have fun, <laughs> yeah, especially in safety. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah.